Hello, 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 guys. Welcome back to Cleaning Day Lifestyles. Today, I have a little something different for you guys. This is a narrated update by yours truly, Glenny Day. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I have some updates to report to you, and I've decided to do a narrated version because, unfortunately for me, I cannot be in Jamaica as much as I would love to be, and therefore I can't see things in real time. And right now I'm having the workmen send me updates as they go along, and they've done a really good job at just letting me know what's happening and giving me like uh, some day-by-day -day blows of events and so that I can stay on top of the journey and you guys can stay looped in on the journey with me. So let's dive right in and get started. So what is happening at the villa? What's new? What's next? What's different? Trust and believe guys, there's a lot going on at the villa and I'm going to start today with what I call the big chop right? The bushing has begun at the villa and, you know, those trees and all the things I talked about in that second video, it's looking a whole lot better, guys. A lot of clarity and a lot of clearing is going on. So let's look at a front on, spot on image of the villa there. If you look around the sides, you'll see that there's a lot of real estate landscape real estate, I call it landscape potential, real estate that needs to be a uh, landscaped. And before that can happen, we had to go in and bush back, trim back, scale back, cut back a lot of the overgrowth that was there. So what does it look like? Let's look at what it looked like in the beginning. So here you go, guys. Um, look at this image right here. This is the telltale sign of overgrowth. Uh, there are thatch trees, there are palm trees, bamboo trees. There are also a lot of flowers and plants, including hibiscus and some other gorgeous flowers that I'm not sure what the name of them are, but I'm sure I'll learn as I'm, you know, uh, you know, immersing myself into the culture and the landscape of Jamaica. I'll learn more and more as I go along. But I want you to look at this corner right here, the circle. Inside that circle, guys, that is my neighbor's fence post. That is their fence post. And it's overgrown and overtaken by the overgrowth. And so this has to change. It has to get some clearing there. And you'll see in just a few more slides what a difference bushing makes, proper bushing rather. Now, let me show, tell you a little bit about this image. This is at the base of the entry leading up the leading up the driveway to the house. This is all that you see. In fact, it's very interesting. You have no idea that there is even a villa or a house of any sort beyond the trees because you don't see anything until you turn the corner. Many would argue that that's a good thing because some people love to be under the cover of mystery where you don't know that they exist unless you come directly up onto the property. Now, there's something to be said for that. I agree. There's something about privacy that's nice. But there is also something about being open and having some openness where you can see what's going on around you and get to, to see your neighborhood in its full beauty and take it all in and not be uh, just reclusive, right? Where there's just, you know, nothing... No one knew that this person even lived there. I'm not, that's not the lifestyle I'm looking for. I'm looking for some downtime, some quiet time for, you know, my friends, my loved ones, my family, my honey, all of that good stuff we're looking for when we uh, travel to Jamaica. But we still want some, you know, some privacy. Privacy. So there is a, a, a fine line between privacy and openness. Which one do you like, guys? What do you think? If you were buying a place, would you want all of this bush? Would you appreciate all of the bush and just leave it as is? Or would you value some privacy and a little bit of openness as well? Let me know what you think in the comments below. 
All right, so more of the same. So remember I talked about how it looks at the bottom of the driveway. So this, all of the bush that you just saw, it, it, it you couldn't even, you could barely see, you could see this driveway, but only to this point when you're going up. You could see that there was pavement, but beyond that, you could not see a thing. And so, uh, and even beyond the gate, once you turned and went beyond the gate, it was still just an overgrowth of everything. Uh, leading all the way up to the driveway to the very top. So now you're at the top of the driveway. And if you look back, you can obviously see that there's just bush and trees. Every single space is filled. There's not a single uncovered space on the landscape real estate. Everything is covered. And so this is what we're seeking to change. Now, if you look at this slide, you will also see uh, by the pool area, we were all standing on the pool deck area and we were hoping to get that sunset that faces west that is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Looks like it's sitting right in the palm of your hand. You know, it's that thing that people travel to Jamaica to see when they go to Rick's Cafe and they're looking for that gorgeous sunset it gives you that same Rick Cafe's kind of vibe. And we weren't able to see it because, again, um, there are a lot of, there are three uh, large trees that sort of really just sort of block that view of the ocean and block uh, that gorgeous sunset. So either trim back or just chop down, unfortunately. And I, I'm, I'm a lover of trees, so I'm always torn about chopping them down. But you know, when there's a lot of bush and a lot of trees, there are also a lot of critters. And I am not a fan of critters. So thank you very much. Let's get the bushing going on. <laughs> okay. All right. So now let's look at the fence line now. So I said, what is happening at the villa? You can see that that work is being done. So you can now see the neighbor's fence line. The neighbor can, oh my God, they're like, wow, we try to be good neighbors. We want to be good neighbors. And so we've already implemented a team that is just working and killing it, man. They're doing the thing, and we're so excited um, to share uh, the updates with you. And so you can really see now that the work is being done. They're doing what they're saying. They're saying they were going to do, and they have honored their word, and what a great team. So let's take a stroll around the backyard. Wow, look at that backyard. Again, more overgrowth. You can see if it's even backing up against the house there, right? There's so much overgrowth. It's here a bush, there a bush, everywhere, bush, bush. And guys, we've got to scale it down. We have no choice. As beautiful as this lush greenery is, it must be scaled back. All right, so you're looking out now and you're looking, this is at the back of the house. There's actually a jerk hut out back and I'll show you guys those later. We'll do a, a longer tour, but if you peek through, uh, you can see the, the, the Caribbean Sea sitting right there. Again, there's a lot of bush, lots of, of whacking and weed whacking and all of that stuff and the overgrowth of weeds there. Wheat growing along with everything else, right? The, the wheat, <laughs> the wheat and the tares. I think I'm just went to the Bible or something. Uh, they, they're all growing together and, and you won't know until they all come up together, which one is wheat and which one is tear. All right. That's a, that's the scripture for today. Uh, anyhow, um, let's move right along. Here are the workmen doing their ting. They are killing it with the machete. They out there, they're whacking it. They're uh, mowing it and there was one video and you guys will see that when he actually cuts down the hibiscus flower and I'm just like in that moment like oh no he cut down the hibiscus flower but it's actually um it was in need of it was you know I'm gonna start with a clean slate and I think it's gonna be important to just have a clean slate to landscape any way we want to do it and so there you go now if you look Think back to the very first image I showed you. Can you go back there for a minute in your mind? Look and think about the image with all of the overgrowth of bush. This was at the base of the entry that I told you about. As you're driving up, there was nothing but bush. You could not stand to where uh, you're standing at the top and see the roadway. All the bush, all you could see was bush, bush, bush. And they've already started to bush that back. And in fact, 
they're clean, they've cleaned it up too. So that's a, an amazing thing. Now, guys, this is something that happened. You see the little horses there? I call this image the Little House on the Prairie image. And if you don't know what that is, Google it and search images of Little House on the Prairie and you'll see exactly what I mean. Um, but it was a show that ran, I don't know, way back when. I can't remember. Um, and this little house, guys, we didn't know it was there. No one knew it was there. Maybe the caretaker knew it was there. But, you know, when buying the property, no idea. No idea. This all was, uh, it was, you know, I guess almost like when you're discovering these uh these archaeologists are digging up these things and are finding all the stuff underneath this, underneath that. We found these things. And it's not that old, but I'm saying that it's amazing what can hide under the cover of bush. Under the cover of bush, we discovered the little house on the prairie. And so uh, that is now, uh, you know, it, it's it was... It was, a, I believe, like a supply or storage area for equipment and tools and things like that, but it's not necessary. So it's already been taken down, already gone off the premises, and hallelujah, what else can I say? Um, but left the banana trees. I am, banana is actually my favorite fruit, so I'm going to have a banana of a good time. And so um, lots of banana trees and lots of other fruit trees on the property. So excited, excited, excited about that. Um, and here is another angle of that uh, little house on the prairie, and that is so unnecessary for that to be there. So that's going to be gone, right? Uh, and, and as you can see, there's still lots of uh, lushness on the land. This is a very, very fertile land, guys, very fertile. Um, and I am excited about when the real landscaping starts and we start planting the right grass and the right flowers. And I'll probably ask you guys for your, your help as we're going along and starting to really do these projects. Like what kind of advice can you give about like the right kind of flowers or what might be pretty or what might grow well or what kind of trees? You know, put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take all, everything into consideration. So now this is another, another yet another house, um, but this is a garage area. This was built as an actual garage, and I'm thinking of maybe changing that out and making it something significant, perhaps a little spa area, um, perhaps a gym. I don't know yet. Um, what do you guys think? What would you, what would you make that area if you had an option? Like, what are some ideas you have to, to make this, uh, use this and make this very functional and very purposeful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Alrighty guys, it is quiz time. What's different? You saw the bottom of the hill. You saw uh, a, a, a bit of the driveway coming up with the gate there. Now what is different? What has changed? I'll give you a few minutes to think about it. Do, 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 do. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, so that's my version of Jeopardy so that I don't get a copyright slap. I had to make it a little bit different. So hope you can appreciate that. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Um, I am going to progress to the next slide and let you see, wow, what the difference is. Look at that. You can actually see the entire driveway coming up from the road. That's what's changed. And we're just getting started. There's going to be a new wall. If you look at the animation over here, there's a new wall coming right there. And in fact, that's going to be the next, probably the next episode, right, where you'll see where they've already started to put some of the stakes up. And if you look down all the way on the side where my neighbor's wall is, that very first sconce, if you look at that, my um, fence is going to come back up and butt up against that area right there at the very first um, sconce on his fence post. So it's going to be quite lovely, I believe, and um, and we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated as that's going along too. Now guys, I want you to check out this short video. It's actually going to show 
the team of guys that did the work and show them in action. It is a blast to watch and hear them talk about the property. And I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I did. Um, so I'll go ahead and get that queued up. You guys stay tuned and I'll see you around for the next episode, which will we'll talk about the fencing. All right. Bye for now. Enjoy. That's it. Come in, Rasta. Go wheel to a machine. Go in the fence side, Rasta. Left the local party and go in the fence side. Yeah, you're not a bush party. Come in, Rasta. Yeah. Go in it too. I have a top side them. I have my hall and a flingy bush them. Yeah man, talk to them after like you show them. So yeah man. Yeah man. Yeah man, you want to look good man. I say people them happy, you see it? Everybody happy. Yeah, fling my shit, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. This is right here, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah right there, sir. Um, cut off and clean out right under this step. Yeah, man. Yeah, right there, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Alright, I hit, man. Yeah. All right. I just want to use this saw to help cut out. Oh, not this, sir. Yeah, man. I chew, man. Get this saw. No, go and do it the same way. I get the saw man, we can come and crank up the saw. Yeah. Yeah, because me use, me use my saw just like machine. Yeah man. Let's see, man. Inside I was. So I ran through one. 